Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here. Welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. We are now downtown, which means uh, new quests and new people to boss us around. Uh, we've got uh, fun with pestilence. Damsel set you on a trail of the plague bearer. The kindred responsible for the outbreak of the LA epidemic. She has suggested going to speak with the ghoul Paul at the Skyline Apartments or talking to some of the bums around the city. The other thing is uh, Skelter wants us to make Patty disappear. She's a ghoul who has been bugging everyone about her master and won't believe them when they tell her he's dead. Not only is she getting tiresome, Skelter's concern about the implications for the masquerade she keeps shooting her mouth off. She can usually be found whining at the club confession to anyone unfortunate enough to talk to her. So, I'm thinking we have to go to the Skyline Apartments for something else for this, to find Muddy, Mike Durbin, for Kilpatrick and Bail Bondsman. Uh, so I'm thinking we head to the Skyline Apartments and see where we can go from there. What we'll do is check a map, perhaps. Oh, here we go. Okay, we are there. Skyline Apartments number two, so it's like way at the other end, um, but not so bad. Let's just get situated here what's nine last round okay on the way if we see any bums we will talk to them we probably could have talked to someone under the bridge there can't talk to this one Maybe that's not a bum. Maybe that's just an old woman. I'm not exactly sure. So that explains the hazmat suits, this outbreak that's happening. All right, let's check the map here. So it's behind us and to the right. Pretty sure the Skyline Apartments are named. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's maybe it's these ones here. <laughs> Lacroix. Snack cake. What are you doing here? I mean. I gotta admit, I'm a little flattered if you're shocking me, but, uh, anyhow, uh, you see where your little security muffins ended up? Night shift lobby sergeant, huh? <laughs> hey, you stick this with is the me, guy I'm from, going straight to the top, baby. From that, uh, gallery noir, I think. Hey, uh, Moon Pie, can you buzz me up? Uh, I'd love to buzz you up, but according to Building Security Protocol 916, I'm gonna have to verify you're supposed to be here before I can open the elevator. I hate to be a Louis Law, but I'm new here, and uh, you don't get a second chance like this every day. Are you sure? Ooh. Let's see if we can command it to happen. Uh, okay then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me <laughs> to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. Thank you. Yeah, uh, you have a good power meeting, or uh, whatever it is you types do up there. If you need any security, well, you just ring the front desk and ask for Officer Chunk. That's me. In case you were wondering. All right, Chunk. Ah, yeah, I, I get that all the time. The name goes back to my football days. Oh, actually, uh, my fantasy football days at, at the <laughs> station. Stationarium. That was this office supply outlet mall I used to watch. Hey, you kids! No skating in the parking lot! <laughs> that was me. That's, uh, okay. Bye, Chunk. I don't know if these are the right apartments. I'm thinking that they are. Here, let's check another map. No, they're not. They're definitely not. Um, library, Ventura Tower, I think, is where we... Yeah, okay. So we're gonna have to go back to the right.
Well, we know where LaCroix is. Are we on the right track? Skyline Apartments, we're right here. This is the Nocturne Theater. Ah, there we go. They, they are named Skyline. Okay. New city. Or new area. It's going to take us a while to get used to it, but... What do we got going on? We got an elevator. Can we talk to... Oh. Milligan, Milton, Welch, Scratched, Anderson, Glazer. Do any of these names ring a bell? Uh, Mike Durbin, no. Isn't there. Um... Google Paul. Okay, so Paul could be in number five. And we're going to 2A anyways. So Milton's place. Employees only. Probably not a great idea if he is standing right here. However... <laughs> Okay, I'll see you later. Let's go to two, first of all. Knock, knock. Or pick, pick. Nice place, holy. This is cool. I love when there's mezzanines in places like this. Mr. Milton, you know who this is, and I do hope you realize that we're still on for tonight. Meet me at the agreed upon location across from the bar by the underpass. Bring your associate, Mr. Durbin, as it is a two-man job that I am proposing. With any luck, the two of you are already on your way, and I shall see you soon. Goodbye. Well, Okay, well, I don't think he's here. Car stereos, why not? Whoa. So he... Uh, he's not there. Instead, you heard another message telling Durbin and Milton to meet somewhere, someone at an unknown location across the street from a bar. These guys are in here rocking out. I haven't seen one nice bathroom yet. And there's little secret compartments. I bet you these lead into like the back way. How we saw by the uh, security guard there. Let's see. Certainly is taking us down. This could lead into other apartments as well, though. Yeah, this could work. Maybe that's how we get into other apartments that are locked? Although we didn't check to see if any are locked. Okay, this, here we go, clean bathroom. I'm satisfied. Nobody's home, which is kind of strange. Ooh. I'll save your screen, nerd. Okay, before we check that, let's just take a look around. Another vent. Not the best location for those vents, honestly. Oh, there's a safe. Come on now. Level six, baby. Jewels, that'll do. Now 
Now, where is the safe, though? Whoa. Shit! How did that happen? Come over here. I didn't want to have to do this. There goes humanity. Damn it. And I opened some safe somewhere. What the hell? No, it wouldn't be in there, because that's where he came from, but maybe in the... Maybe in here. Oh, right there. This looks to be a class ring. Let's take it. Silver ring. Fancy ring. Fancy watch. Well, I don't know if it's going to be worth it, but it's done now. Let's see what our options are for taking the normal routes. I'm assuming this is three. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to sneak in. Let's head on up to four. The hell? Uh oh. Hi, Paul. It's Hannah. Paul's. Just calling to see how you are. I think Paul's dead. I hope I didn't give you what I've got. Ugh, I feel like crap. This is the Actually, disease that's going around. I need to ask you a favor. Could you? Pick me up some cold medicine at the store. <coughs> I hate to bother you, but I can't seem to get out of bed. <coughs> the code on my door is 1203. Hey, listen, I uh, had a really good time the other night. Maybe we could do it again sometime. Sorry, I'm rambling. Okay, bye. Okay, so 1203, but what door? Uh, Paul the Ghoul is dead, presumably another victim of the epidemic. You heard a message from someone named Hannah asking him to come to her apartment, also in the Skyline building. Her door is 1203. Okay. So that might be a good indication to actually check the doors then, because... That way we'll know that it's Hannah's apartment. Nice frickin' place, man. Wow. Okay, we're on five now. Let's go to six. We haven't even checked the first floor yet, but... Let's also see... Yeah, okay. So we're good. Damn. This is not the place. Oh, never mind. Hello. Hannah, I have brought you something to make you feel better? Where did I just see the keys? There were keys showing somewhere.
there again. Safe key? What? Okay. It's a pretty good hiding spot considering I couldn't even see it. And let me guess, the, this safe is up in your closet. Really use some lights here. Paul, is that? Hey, you're not Paul. Who are you? Yeah, you're gonna have to uh, <coughs> tell me some things. I'm from the CDC. Um, Paul sent me over. I'm a doctor. You sound pretty sick. What's wrong? <coughs> I don't really know. I I've taken all kinds of medicine, but I can't seem to get rid of it. I I feel like I got a fever and a sore throat. <coughs> I'm real weak. Can't seem to get out of bed. What day is it? I, I can't remember. Sounds pretty bad. How did you get it, Hannah? Well, I think I got sick from one of my <coughs> clients. I was feeling fine until I, I, uh, I saw her a few days ago. And who is that exactly? She was just a woman who called. She, uh, she found my ad in the <laughs> newspaper. <coughs> Usually only do business with referrals, you know, but she was offered a lot of money. What can you tell me about her? <coughs> her name was Jezebel. Jezebel Locke. I'm usually not too good with names, you know, but hers was so strange. <coughs> I can't seem to get it out of my head. So Jezebel gave you a disease, and now you're screwed. Was there anything else strange about her? Like, just tell me everything you know. Yeah, I mean, I think so. <coughs> to tell you the truth, I don't really remember a whole lot about that night, you know. <coughs> Everything's a little blurry, you know. I mean, I'm not usually, you know, into women. But I remember feeling so attracted to her. Vampire. I thought she was the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen. <coughs> well, the next thing that's clear <coughs> is when I woke up the next morning... <laughs> I've been feeling too well since then. To tell you the truth, I have other friends who've who've uh, worked with her, and they're not doing so hot either, you know. <laughs> okay, so she sounds like she's probably the source. She had a room at the Empire Hotel. I can't remember the number. <laughs> hey, are you sure that Paul's okay? He's not sick, is he? Paul is. Um, Paul. Ah, Paul's fine, Hannah. Don't stress anymore. <laughs> Good. He, he's a nice guy. <laughs> I hope he calls me again sometime. Me too. I hope so. I really do. <laughs> okay, Hannah. You should maybe get some sleep. Rest in peace, Hannah. I'll go take care of Jezebel Locke. Oh, nice. I got humanity back. Oh, she just died. Uh, wow. Okay. Here's the safe. 200 bucks. I am okay with this. Oh, what else do we have here? An appointment book. This looks like a standard appointment book. Arthur Kilpatrick. Okay, she's obviously a... Well, you know. Meet Arthur at his place in Santa Monica. Remember to bring the handcuffs and the orange jumpsuit as he likes to play lockdown at the woman's prison. This guy is sick. Vandal B, 730 at the blood bank. Bring pliers and a blowtorch. David had a room 413 at the Lucky Star in Hollywood. He likes that weird umbrella and water balloon thing. Simon Milligan, downstairs in his room. God, I hate that guy. Paul Anderson, an honest-to-God date. I can't believe he asked me out. I'm so excited. And Jezebel Locke. New client responded to my ad in the paper. She was at a suite in the Empire Hotel. I don't know what to think of this one, but there's something about her. Her voice, I don't know. She's offering big bucks, so I can't pass it up. All right. Let's head to the first floor. I guess... Well, no. I was going to say the first floor could have been the reception area, but I guess that would probably be G. 
What's going on in Skyline Apartments tonight? Two dead. Presumably both from the disease. Uh, have we been in hit to number one? I guess I could try picking at the guy's already dead. By the guy, I mean the security guard. I guess maybe because we... Oh. Because we fed on him? And then when he woke up, he's like, uh, something's not right? I'm not exactly sure how that works. Well, hello. A photo of what exactly? A blurry photo of what looks like a Nosferatu. Damn. Um. Okay. Let's go into your email. I don't suppose it could be Carlton. Damn. Well, it's six. We can still get in. Ectoplasm. Hmm. I love Haunted LA. From Fanboy McGee. Haunted LA is like the greatest graded show ever. I totally am going to visit all the places you talk about. Hey, you should go to this one hotel I stayed at one time in Palm Springs. I swear it was haunted. The ghost kept turning on the sink faucet. Maybe he had OCD about washing his hands. LOL exclamation. Okay, delete. Holy shit, you suck. Angry guy with strong opinions. Uh, YouTube comments. Haunted LA in my ass. Even if there were such a thing as ghosts and shit, which there ain't, ain't no fucking way a goddamn werewolf could be hanging out in Griffith Park. Just who in the hell do you think you're fooling? It's not even as if we have real fucking wolves around here for it to hide out with. I hope you get eaten by some flesh-eating monster, you stupid bastard. Okay. Hostile. Uh, upcoming shows. Show 17. Hospital Horror. A dilapidated hospital in the downtown area. This place is very spooky. Minimal work required. The place is scary as hell. We'll say it's the ghost of a nurse who feels as if she still has patience to serve. So these guys are running some short sort of, like, scam or... Eternal Unrest. There's a cemetery in Hollywood. It's full of actors with more than just dead careers. Again, it shouldn't take much effort in our part. Okay. So these guys are putting on these little horror shows, it sounds like. Local paper sensationalizes fact. Hmm. wonder how this will come back. Caroline's. Okay, well, Skyline Apartments are dead. Yes, yeah, uh, too bad that guy. Damn it, I feel bad, but we did gain back the humanity. So, I mean, no harm, no foul, I guess, except for foul on his part, he probably feels.